Megan foaming at the mouth with rage when Harry makes a solo trip to NYC for Intrepid Valor Awards. Prince Harry is set for another trip to New York as he joins musician Bon Jovi for the inaugural Intrepid Valor Awards, which is due to take on November 10. The Duke of Sussex will make a solo trip to New York in November, to participate in the Intrepid Valor Awards which will honor active service members, veterans, and their families. Prince Harry has only recently returned from a three-day tour of the city with his wife, Meghan Markle, but will be making a second appearance within a matter of weeks. However, for the honorary gala, the Duchess of Sussex is expected to remain in California with their two young children. The Salute to Freedom Gala will take place on November 10, the day before Remembrance Day. As a guest of honor, Prince Harry will present five awards to military servicemen and women who are living with the invisible wounds of war. Prince Harry previously served in the British Armed Forces for ten years, qualifying as an Apache Air Commander and undertaking two tours of Afghanistan. During the inaugural event in Manhattan, the Duke will be joined by musician Bon Jovi, who will be presented with a Lifetime Achievement Award. Bon Jovi and Prince Harry previously collaborated together last year, as they joined forces to produce an anthem for the Duke's Invictus Games. In a press release for the Salute to Freedom Gala, Meghan Markle's name does not appear on the guest list, suggesting that she will be remaining in Montecito to take care of the couple's children. Taking place in the Intrepid Sea, Air and Space Museum along the Hudson River, the military gala recognizes extraordinary leadership and honors the brave men and women who serve in defense of our nation. Susan Marinoff Zorsner, the president of the Intrepid Museum, said, We are so grateful to Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, for honoring and amplifying the stories of these heroes and helping raise awareness for mental health support for our men and women in uniform. Prince Harry has previously used his platform to raise awareness of mental health issues within the army and with veterans. Earlier this month, the Duke of Sussex joined forces with U.S. First Lady Jill Biden to discuss the issues around mental illness with wounded veterans. He told the virtual audience, To see every single one of you here with the pride on your faces makes me incredibly happy to know how far you guys have come, the dark places that you've been to, and where you are now. After standing down from active service with the British Army, Prince Harry went on to establish the Invictus Games, a Paralympic-style tournament for injured servicemen and women and veterans. After being cancelled in both 2020 and 2021, the next Invictus Games will take place in 2022 in the Netherlands. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle recently conducted their first post-royal tour, as they visited New York for three days and attended a host of high-profile engagements. Last Thursday they met with the mayor of New York, Bill de Blasio, for a photo call at the One World Trade Center, and later visited Linda Thomas Greenfield, the U.S. ambassador to the U.N. They also attended a primary school in Harlem and joined a roundtable discussion with the World Health Organization to discuss vaccine equity. Their trip culminated with an appearance at the Global Citizen Live concert, where the couple attacked the ultra-wealthy pharmaceutical companies for refusing to share their vaccine recipes. The couple were spotted with a videographer on their three-day tour of the city, prompting rumors that a fly-on-the-wall documentary on their post-royal life is in the works with Netflix, with whom they signed a huge deal last year. Though they've since returned to their home in Montecito, California, it appears that Harry and Meghan aren't quite done with the Big Apple just yet, either, with Harry scheduled to return to the East Coast in November for a very important reason. Honoring five service members, veterans and military families living with the invisible wounds of war, Harry will appear at the inaugural Intrepid Valor Awards in November ahead of Armistice Day. Prince Harry and Meghan are now believed to have returned to California to reunite with their two children, Archie Harrison, and Lilibet Diana.